My name is Steven Young. I'm a junior social work major. Hi, I'm Samantha Howes and I'm an Elson now student. My name is Daria Silver and I'm a sophomore and I'm majoring in graphic design. Hi, my name is Jay. Um, I am a freshman computer science major. Hi, my name is Ashton Hartman and I am a first year student here at UMSL. My name is Ashley and I'm a junior special education major. The biggest struggle would definitely be time management and making sure that you're getting enough sleep and also making sure that you're scheduling time for friends and homework and all that other stuff. Money management is really hard. I'm never near my house and so I'm always kind of feeling like I have to buy food instead of really make it as much as I would like to. I think the biggest challenge for me is prioritizing time management, all of that and just in one. Because I can procrastinate like it ain't nothing. Like I, I can do that. I got a quiz tomorrow, I'm gonna study today. You know what I'm saying? When I should have studied Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, break kinda today, look over some notes, and then be ready for the test. The biggest challenge has been like finding where my resources are on campus, making sure that I know who is there to help me and like how to how to come in contact with those people. I think I expected the student body to be a little more disjointed, but it seems like a lot of people really know each other and have like a genuine camaraderie with one another. I've had my first exam and I feel like in class you usually have the teacher dedicate a certain amount of class time or even a whole class prior to to discuss what you need to study, how it's going to be set up, the time limit. Um, and with my experience online so far it was really limited. It was kind of just the quizzes and the assignments will help you out. So luckily I overstudied and I found the exam really easy because I didn't know what to expect. Something that I wasn't expecting. They have shuttle buses, they have just so many resources, they got pantries and everything. I thought it was going to be even more overwhelming because of my outside stuff, like stuff outside of school that I was just going to topple on top, like just be stressful. But in all honesty, it's really getting cool, especially like the support group that I got, the friends that I have, and the professors that I have as well. I really feel like it's going not smoother, but it's like it's on the way. Like I feel like good things are coming. I think it's harder than I expected it to be. Uh, being an education major, you kind of go in with the idea that it's going to be super easy and you're going to color in all your classes. And it was like that in a community college and like it is definitely a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. I definitely utilize the um, RPM lounge in the basement of Oak. There's um, RAs are in there and they, they can help you with different subjects. They also print in there, like study, do homework. It's definitely helped me to have like a different space other than my dorm room. And like there's people in there that can help if you're like struggling or stuck on a certain subject. If you're looking to be a part of something and get to know um, the students here at UMSU more and just what UMSU is all about, I definitely recommend um, being a part of the Office of Student Involvement. I have utilized the Writing Center and the University Tutoring Center, and I actually just got a job at the University Tutoring Center, so I for sure recommend the University Tutoring Center. When I originally thought about public universities, I thought big lecture halls and um, a class with a ton of students, but that's not necessarily how it always is. Most of my classes are pretty small, and it makes me feel like I'm getting like an individualized um, education experience. I don't know that I can do it. I kind of just didn't think that it'd be possible to finish your undergrad at 26 years old with a full-time job because, I mean, that's what my parents had said and that's what a lot of my friends tend to believe. So I'm just happy to prove them wrong. The biggest surprise is just how welcoming everybody is. Like if I can walk around campus, I can see somebody that can help me or that'll let me sit with them or people that I can just talk to and get help with on assignments and things like that. Just always block out enough time for what you need to do. If you think that you need to go across campus and you're not sure you have enough time, block out 30 minutes between um, different things you need to do. Make the most of your campus. Even though I didn't really like attending classes, like there was something about being there in that environment, using your peers. I don't really have that. It's just me at home doing my work. Um, and as much as you can discuss it with people online, it really, really helps to just be there. I know there's a bunch of activities and protests and, and voices on campus, so it's really fun to be a part of. And I would just get involved. If you're not into sports, go look at your majors. I'm sure your professors have a bunch of extracurriculars or, or even weekend assignments you can do that'll look really great on a resume um, and it'll really solidify your learning. 
get involved and prioritize, please. Like, you do not want to fall behind. It's it's not worth it. Because once you fall behind, you're going to fall behind. And this is just going to, it's going to rack, it's going to stack, and it's going to be very overwhelming, and you're going to be stressed out. So do time management. If you got to write it out, put some reminders on your phone, do that. Because, like, it is important that you do what you have to do when you got to do it. <laughs> Go Titans!